Hey guys, this is Matt Grizzly Outdoors. Uh, today I've got a new sheath design that hopefully will be on the website pretty shortly here. Um, I was playing around with this. I've been looking at some sheaths um, for my kids. It's kind of the main reason I started doing this, but this is also the knife that I use probably the most out of all the mores and stuff. I'm going to show you this. This is the, uh, the Mora Classic 2.0. Uh, this is my go-to knife as far as for shop use and stuff like that. It's just a nice, small, handy little knife. Uh, holds a good edge. Comfortable no matter which way you hold it. I use this for deburring a lot and just little camp tasks. So this is kind of my go-to knife. So I decided to make myself a, uh, a new sheath for it. Uh, this one's also going to be the kids' use knife or sheath when they come out with me. Uh, I might be doing a couple more in different colors. But uh, this is a neck carry. This will allow you to carry with handle up, having the extreme style with the fire steel and the light in it. Um, with this also you can carry handle down, you can put your string through there if you want. You can also carry, because of this added um, eyelet here, you can carry horizontal under your arm and stuff. And that's been real popular. So I figured I'd do a sheath that would cover all of them. So you can loop through, through this eyelet and this one here, hang it uh, horizontally. Or like most guys like to carry these classics with handle up or handle down. So it's a really versatile sheath. Uh, again, this is the 2.0, so this is the smallest classic that they make. Very handy knife. I think this is probably the most underrated uh, Mora that they have. Uh, just the size makes it very versatile. Um, holds a great edge. Just a very good knife. You can see I've used this quite a bit. Um, so I figured to show you that. Uh, this is probably going to be in... Uh, said on the website in the next month but this will be our extreme uh, classic I think that's the name I'm gonna put on it for now we'll start with the classic uh, the more classics and I might do some other clippers and stuff depending on uh, on demand again any of these I can make for any knife but as far as standard on the website uh, something that I can just put on there and make and uh, keep it simple for just kind of a buy it now is why I do those uh, I do do tons of customs a week you know variations of different sheath combinations so if you have something that you want feel free to just email me and we can do you know any color combination you know I've combined the extremes with the vertical carry you know all sorts of different things but you know, here the fire still kind of acts as a as a thumb break on this one the retention is a little snugger than I would make it normally I just like mine good and snug for these I can grab it and get it out and it works pretty good so, got the drain hole up here, or a couple of drain slits. Adds a little nicer look to it. And then again, the lights. Uh, I've had questions on what kind of lights I use, and I'll be doing a separate video on those. These are some lights I've found. Uh, they're, they're fairly inexpensive, so it helps me keep my cost down. But uh, yet, they're water, very water resistant. Uh, so pretty durable little light. Here I did the carbon fiber on black. Turned out really nice. So it kind of adds a uh, rustic classic look with the modern, uh, modern, modern materials. So, all right, guys, I'll get some pictures of this uh, hanging on my son's neck and show you that. And any other suggestions, guys? Uh, that's where I get most of these ideas from, is from you guys, or just everyday life. You know, in my sheets, I like to make them. I'm pretty picky, so everything's got to be finished really well. I use the best uh, material that I can. This is actually the thicker Kydex. You get good mold out of it. This is 80 thousandths and this is 93. Uh, and then I like to make it usable. And you look at a lot of sheaths. Um, you go to some websites and look at their sheaths and they look cool, but they're very impractical. You have a knife sticking out here and another piggybacked out here. You know, This way it kind of keeps everything slim line, something you can use. You know, I'm out in the woods uh, playing with this stuff, so I kind of get a chance to use it and see what works and what doesn't and then with the kids I like to you know see what what will work for them so especially the the handle up with the kid I can lighten up the retention so they can get in and out real easy and then uh, you know kind of modify it to them this you could also I was thinking about this earlier I could make a leather strap that came up for uh, belt carry even you know to mount on these two holes it'd just be a little different leather cut but so this sheath has a lot of options. Again, this is the smallest package. Um, the other classics get bigger. And I could probably do this in a clipper. 
style and some of those other ones uh, if needed. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good afternoon. Go oh, quack, quack. That, do you hear it? It's like this. <laughs> quack, quack, quack. <laughs> Say, can you say quack into it? Is that the quack? A little better. <laughs>